Welcome back to the old Two Stroker YouTube channel. My name's Wayne, and today we're continuing on with the restoration of this here gen set. So, the last video you watched us redo the hood and get it ready. This video, you're going to get to see us blast it, which, if you look, you can tell it's already been done, but spoiler alert, looks badass. Uh, yeah, so we're going to blast it, and we're going to prime it and paint it in this video, uh, among a couple other small details. I'm sure I'll be frustrated. You missed it this morning. I didn't have the camera going, but I had to take the lights off for blasting, and uh, they fought me a little bit, but after that 3 a.m. Uh, excursion last time, last night, I had to smash them off with a hammer, so we're going to have to put lights on it now. Away she goes. So stay tuned. We'll get you some drone footage. We'll get you some nice footage of him blasting it. Let's go.
All right, fellas, all done with the uh, blasting. Hmm. Got it. I cannot believe I just moved out my foot. <laughs> anyway, let's finish blasting. Looks friggin' 10 times better. 10 times friggin' better. So now what we've got to do, other than blow all the shit out of it, off of it, is uh, we've got to secure, where is it? Movers are over here, you bobo. So this thing, because these two wall pieces are designed to be installed as one, uh, and you gotta pull the entire interior out of the thing to do it, um, I have to secure that somehow now or else that's gonna rattle like hell and I just, I can't have that. So what we're gonna do is, I think I'm gonna park, we're gonna, we gotta get something in here Maybe I'll go get a ratchet strap from the inside or something. But we got to strap this like that. Or maybe I can just hold it while I'm... I want to put a, some self-tappers in there in them louvers there. And get it uh, held together. I don't know why it's like... It's almost like it's bent. We'll figure it out though. But that's what I'm gonna do. I gotta get some self tappers in that. And then we gotta tape the stuff we're not painting. So like this. We got some uh, wire brushing to do around here. I had him stay away from right away from that so he didn't kill the chrome on it. And a little bit of other miscellaneous wire brushing here and there, but yeah, let's get to it. Forgive the noise. He's still back there blasting. It's long overdue. Let's see if we can even get one of these in there. I think. Drill with 14 and then. New plan. So what we're doing now is we're gonna try to find self-tappers to fit in the existing holes because there's no way I can really drill it. This is gonna suck, boys. That wall's gotta be secure to that one. Or we're in major, major trouble. It's gonna rattle like a bastard, and I have zero interest in listening to that. Got any bright ideas? Put them down in the comments. 
because I am fresh out. Um, source? It was revealed to me in a dream. I guess what I could do is put the panel in place, use a punch and a hammer to make indents where I want the holes. I'll drill the holes in this a little bigger. Then put the panel back in place, use a, this, a punch and a hammer to dimple this, pull the panel back out, and then drill this. I think that's the only way to do this. <sighs> yeah, well, it ain't gonna do itself, so. All right, let's drill it. Morning, fellas. As you can see, we got the door on last night. I stopped recording, but what I ended up using, I don't know if you could see them in there. They are, uh, it's a button head, quarter 20 bolt with an Allen key. So way easier than trying to get a socket in there. 100% the way to go. No more rattle. No more flex, she's back where she needs to be. So now our next hurdle is getting this thing vacuumed out. Because, wow, the surface is hot. Holy shit. Paint's gonna dry immediately. So I'm a little bit worried because there's so much sand in here. I'm afraid that it's going to come out of here and get in the paint, etc. So we're gonna vacuum the entire unit real quick. Try to get everything ready to go. And then we're gonna go through and blow off the entire outside of it. You know, with the air or whatever, just try and see what we can get out of here but yeah let's freaking get going i'm just gonna vacuum off camera you don't need to watch me vacuum it but look how much schmoo got in here not schmoo but dust there's like half inch of dust all over the whole freaking thing so we're gonna get rid of it right now Alright boys, we got her all vacuumed out. It's better. There's friggin' sand everywhere. And I do mean everywhere. Vacuum the floor, it's not in great shape. I was originally under the impression that this thing had a tank inside a tank. Uh, let's see here, vacuumed it. I got as much as I could. It's not perfect, but whatever. I'm just trying to keep whatever in there from getting out while we're painting and to be honest with you we're gonna have to blow it all out before we run it again anyway but like i said i got 90 percent of it it's good enough for who it's for for right now all i gotta do over there I don't know what to do with a fuel tank yet. That's going to be another video. I I don't think it's a tank within a tank because the sender's right here. And that says to me that, you know, the whole thing is a tank, which, I don't know, it seems kind of sketch, but maybe one of you guys could put this down and put it in the comments if you've ever worked on one of these or seen one of these things before. If you could tell me if the fuel tank is inside this and this is just containment, or if that is the actual fuel tank, I would really appreciate that. All right, fellas, we got her all wiped down. It's all dusted off. 
All the plaques are taped. We got the handles off, ground that down. That is wiped down also. I don't know if we're ready, but we're ready enough. So we're gonna start painting. Y'all just wish me luck. Uh, I'm not gonna video painting the top of it because it's impossible to get that video, but uh, I'll try to get as much as I can at doing the rest of it. So let's see what this thing comes out like. Oh. 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 Get another Oh, that's it. Well, fellas, next day. Come out really good. Actually, it's nice and even. There's no lines on it. I got the gun figured out a little bit more after I turn the camera off and come out a little better. Freaking fly. But 
we're gonna blast it off with air make sure there's no dust on it and uh just dig right in and get right going again today come on really good hopefully the green lays down as nice as this does what a treat nice and smooth feels good Let's see what we get fellas it's friggin green it's not alpine green i'm not real sure what color it is but the first coat come out real good uh, a couple spots up at the top you can see it's kind of lined i didn't get great coverage there but the rest of it i got the gun figured out and figured out what i was doing come out pretty good i don't really see any gray anywhere uh I'll just finish this side it's super wet right now so we're probably going to wait a little bit and then uh, hit it with a coat number two. Freaking bugs all over it. Boy, that color's not alpine green. Way she goes, fellas. What are you going to do? So, so the paint that I bought, they didn't have a code for alpine green or anything. So they gave me like swatches and told me to pick it out, which... I mean, we all know how well I matched the Peterbilt frame. Whatever. So it's like a sea green instead of alpine green. Nobody cares. It'll be fine. It looks way better than it did. That's the important part. So I still got a little bit left in the gun. I got about a half a gallon. Maybe a little bit less left. Uh, but I think I'm going to run totally out of hardener before. It's, it's supposed to be... It's, you mix this three to one, so it's a gallon paint and a quart of uh, hardener, so it should be dead nuts. One, you know, one jar to one jar, but I don't know. The top was leaking when I got the thing, so who knows how much was actually in there, but we might have to skimp a little bit on the hardener. <laughs> but what a treat. Looks a lot better. I'm pumped about it. I'll probably just, uh, you know, touch it up here and there a little bit real quick, and then... Uh, Start in with number two. Alright fellas, that's a wrap. It's like a not an alpine green at all, but it looks a lot better than it did. I'm curious to see how this looks on an actual screen instead of this camera screen. It's pretty far off from Alpine, but Whatever. That's what's that's what happens when you let me pick out a color swatch is because you don't have the color code. My stupid ass always gets that wrong. Anyway, I'm pumped with it. It came out pretty good. Of course it started to rain. No, zero rain in the forecast for today. It started to rain immediately after I put the gun down. So that's uh shows you how much old Jesus likes me. Par for the course. No big deal. I'm pumped with the way it came out. Hopefully, hopefully the paint stays good. Didn't get too much shit in it. I'm not imagine it's probably pretty tacky right now, but that's a wrap, folks. We're calling this one. I haven't decided. I may do, I may do the highlights a different color. Like I might paint the grill black, 
And I want to get chrome handles for the doors, of course. You know, we're going to pretty it up a little bit, but... Boy, it looks a hell of a lot better than it used to. That rusty white just had to go. So, that'll do it for this one. As you can see, my face, I don't know if you could tell. I'm all green. I just friggin' had to clean my arms with the thinner. This is a mess. My shirt's green. Anyway, you can get actual black ones on the website that aren't painted green. Um, hoodies and hats are now available. I'll drop some pictures in the video here pumped to be able to bring them got them to you guys uh so get them while they're hot i'm not sure how long they're gonna last i didn't order too many of either of those uh just because the budget's been blown on this deal so thank you again to everyone that's ordered something you guys are really making my day with that uh and it makes stupid stuff like this possible there's no way i could have possibly afforded to restore this thing to the level that we're going to do it without you guys so the plan is to put it right underneath the sign tie it under the building and we are going to use this thing for backup power here at the at the fort and hopefully you'll see it some more in some future videos but that'll do her thank you very much for watching and uh we'll see y'all in the next episode we're gonna load bank this thing and do a little bit of motor work and get her going stay tuned